Hi, in this video, I'm going to tell you how to, you know, bring reference image inside Maya. And before that, I'm, I want to say that I'm not going to use this image for the body, body part, because you can say I cannot use this as my background image inside Maya because it, it's a, in a prospective angle. If I use this still, I, my model is not going to perfect because again, this is in prospective angle, this character. So I have a image here. So I'm going to use this image just for the body base. I'm not going to make the that character looks like this guy, guy because both of them looks different. I'm going to use this reference just for the body base. So now let's go to Photoshop and cut this font and side image a separate image. So let's take take this image. Okay, inside this folder I have this image. So let's take this image inside photoshop and double click here i believe you know photoshop but if you don't know it's fine just follow me exactly just photoshop here in the blank area double click to open this and now just browse wherever you have like kept your image just go there mm, here i have inside my course okay and i have this image open it Okay, so let's cut this image into two. So I can do that by using this crop tool here. This tool, just click here to activate it. And you will get this drag from this side. Let's say I'm going to start from this front image. So drag from this side. When you put your cursor here on top of exact this line, you can see the mouse cursor is changing. Once you get this arrow kind of thing, just hold your left mouse and drag. So I'm basically cropping the whole image and now I'm going to press enter on your keyboard. When you press enter this part like keeps and it, it deletes everything outside. Okay now this is my front image let's save this. Save. Let's save as. Go to file and save as. From here I can save. So I'm going to save it inside my project folder and the source image folder. You don't have to save here but Again, if you save here, Maya can directly import from here. So let's save this. Let's say this is my character front. Always give it a name. Front. Okay. Save it in JPEG, JPEG format. Okay. Now I'm going to undo it. So let's go to file, edit and step backward. So it undo that cropping thing. Now again, I'm going to do that. Again, click on there and this time I'm going to like drag from this side and drag from this side. So basically, I'm, I just want two images, okay, front and side. And let's go file and say badge. And let's say this is my side. Okay, the side put side here inside my source image folder I'm saving. Okay, so I'm done with saving. Let's minimize it and let's go to Maya. So now I'm inside Maya. Now I'm going to import those image into two viewports. So first click here on this four view icon so that I can like see my all views here. So inside front view, I'm going to import the front image and the side view, the side image. Okay, so from the front view, I'm going to uh, click on this icon. We can click on this blue icon or you can go to view image plane import image from here you can uh, you can see it's directly looking at that source image folder when you create a project folder that project folder path set to maya maya automatically set that path to import things okay now it's the path is set and for the importing image thing the the source image path is set that's why i just I uh, said earlier th in this video, just put the image inside this source image folder. So now I have this front image, open that. You can do the same thing here. And for the side view, I'm clicking on this icon. Exactly same thing, you can do that from here. Or clicking on this icon and side view. Now I have my two images, you can see inside perspective view. Now I'm going to just move them, just click here with the select tool click on this front view and take the move tool and move it in minus z axis means the opposite z 
so you can see this arrow direction this side just go opposite and again select it and go x opposite okay the front image should go minus g and the side image should go minus x i did this because i want this area to be free so that i can model here in the origin area okay there is no specific reason for that but if you do model in the origin area or the at the center you'll get like a lot of benefits of symmetry things okay but it's not necessary but if you do it's good it's a good practice so then i'm going to select both of them and i'm going to move that character as if it's standing on this on this horizontal deep line deep grid line you can see here the fit should be again on that again this is not necessary to do but again it's a good practice so that your character looks like it's standing on the grid now the most important thing the front image you can see the front image the body of the the center of the body is not aligned to this main origin line so let's do that let's move the front image in x-axis so that it aligned to this grid i cannot move the grid line but i can move the reference image okay it's important because if you don't like keep this at center it's gonna hard to symmetry things we are gonna model this half half part okay so do this and the side view is fine so let's press control space bar to get back all these ui elements i just earlier press control space bar to mac like maximize my viewport or to hide these ui elements so my reference image is set up in the next video i'm going to start modeling